I'm Darren Elwell, Design Manager here at Allen. In this video, we're going to show you the process of taking a finished design into a full factory production model, in this case, a 60mm tie on roll. For this product, we'll be doing everything in house at our factory here in Essex. It all starts on my computer. Once we've designed the product and completed our prototype testing phase, which would involve 3D printing and actual VMC samples, it's then time to commit to the production tooling which we needed for this product. What you see here is a simulation of the VMC milling the tool from the solid piece of tool steel. When we're happy that the simulations are correct and the programs are then created in the software and sent directly to our VMC in the tool room. Begin by creating a perfectly flat and square mould blank made of tool steel, which we can then insert into one of our VMCs to start the milling process. We set up the mould blank and the cutters required in the VMC and run the programs that we've downloaded from the computer software. Several hours later you end up with the first basic part of your injection mould tool. We then use the same process to create the rest of the tooling including the electrodes required to finish the cavities. These electrodes are made from copper and are machined to a very high accuracy to the shape of the desired cavity, in this case the side cheeks. The machine blank is then transferred to our electrical discharge machine for the cavities to be finished using our machined copper electrodes. Once set up, an electrical pulse is passed between the blank and the electrode, resulting in the finished cavity which matches the electrode perfectly. This process is known as spark eroding. Once the machine and the spark eroding is complete for each of the parts that are required for the injection moulding tool, we can then start to assemble it, making sure that all parts fit together perfectly. The completed tool is then numbered and allocated a space on the tooling rack. It is then ready to be selected when it is time to manufacture a batch of side cheeks for the A2060 tie. We also have a mould tool to produce a specific sheave which will go into the A2060 tie. When required, the tool is loaded into the ejection moulding machine. One of our mould setters will set up the tool in the machine ready for use. A special mix of nylon, glass fibre and carbon material is loaded into the mould machine. This mix is heated and then injected into the tool, allowed to cool and then ejected. Each moulding takes roughly 45 seconds and produces both sides of the block. The runner and sprue are removed and will later be ground down and reused in our recycled plastic plane bearing range. For the 60mm tie-on block we also need to produce custom component turn parts. The A2060 tie features stainless steel rings at the top of the head to help reduce any cheek splitting forces the block may be exposed to. We also designed the block around a large central axle to keep the weight to a minimum but retain maximum strength. To produce these parts we use our 5 axis CNC lathe. A length of 316 stainless steel bar is loaded into our bar feeder and a program is created by our highly skilled CNC turners. What we end up with is multiple precision turn stainless steel components. Once all the components have been manufactured, a highly skilled workforce can set about assembling the product.
Once assembled, the block is ready for the final operations on a fly press. The top ring is pressed into shape and then the centre rivet is formed. These operations not only serve to hold the block together, but also create a rope kind attachment area. Finally, the block gets pad printed with our branding. It is then ready for shipping out to the customer.